Good day, YouTubers. Russian artist to sell blood-smeared copies of Prince Harry's Spare memoir in the UK after Taliban chess piece comments. This artist, Andrei Malodkin, is selling 25 copies of the memoir Spare smeared in blood for $10,000 a piece. As you recall, Harry boasted in his memoir about killing 25 Taliban fighters during his time as a soldier in Afghanistan. Harry described feeling like he was removing chess pieces from a chessboard. Very, very, very foolish for Harry to say these things. He's put himself in serious danger for being so stupid. Solomon Rushdie published the Satanic Verses criticizing the Quran in 1989. He was finally stabbed in the neck in 2023, almost 34 years later. Where was Megan? Why didn't Megan say something to stop Harry? And for that matter, where was she on all the drug admissions? What pops into my mind when I see this is Marina Abramovic and her spirit cooking. That's Lady Gaga standing next to her. I did a reading on her on Lady Gaga and my cards told me she is tortured by demonic spirits. I do love her music. Uh, Abramovic describes what she is doing as art. Abramovic is actually performing satanic ceremonies and calling them art. Remember, we saw Megan with George Soros' son at one of these spirit cooking ceremonies, which brings us back to this guy, Andre Malodkin. This looks like witchcraft to me, specifically blood witchcraft, which is like the worst kind. Is this guy a witch? Is he putting spells on Prince Harry? Are there any Taliban Taliban sympathizers planning to attack Harry at the coronation. I mean, a guaranteed spot in heaven with Muhammad, 72 virgins, you be the judge. The coronation is a hard target, and it's not going to be easy to strike Harry at any or any royal at this coronation. A Taliban sympathizer can simply wait for Harry to become a softer target anywhere in the world. The Taliban waited the ISIS guy or whoever that was, waited 34 years before they hit Solomon Rushdie. That's really sad. Let's take a look and see what the cards want to reveal today. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. You can find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Uh, don't forget to like, smash that like button, uh, subscribe, and comment if you like the video. Let's get right into it. Is this guy, Andre Malodkin, is this a spell? Is he a witch? Is this blood magic? I mean, because even if it's not intentional, intentionally blood magic or witchcraft, I think maybe it is. I mean... I'm a firm believer that, you know, the words are never the truth. Just watch what people are doing. Well, this guy is putting blood all over Harry's books. Maybe it's magic, even if he's not a witch and he's not intending it, he's maybe manifesting something on behalf of Harry, irregardless. I mean, I don't want anybody you know, doing crap like that to me, that's just really creepy. And that's how magic works. That's low magic. Uh, so is this, is this magic? So let's look at that. Is this magic? Is this a spell? Coffin. That's like death. That's dark. Trinity. Magi. Hmm. Magi is the magician, bro. Magi is the magician. And we have Coffin and Magi. And we have Snake, which is like a devil card. The devil appeared in the Garden of Eden as a serpent, a snake. And deceived Eve. Uh, and then she got her husband to eat the fruit. So Adam was not there when Eve was being deceived by the serpent because Adam, he actually got the commandment directly from God and Eve did not. She got it secondhand from Adam. So she was, she was the softer target, as they say. 
So let's read this. Coffin, Trinity working everything together, and Magi. Magi, oh my gosh, 7 and 13, 25 spades. This is definitely a spell. This is dark magic. He's manifesting dark mag magic death. Uh, they are spirits of death. Oh, and I don't know if you could see this. I went, I met some friends at a bar. We went to a bar and they stamped, there was no entrance fee and they stamped everybody's hand. <laughs> Why are you stamping people's hands if there's no entrance fee? You know, so like if I go out and I come back in, so what? I mean, do I need this? Do I need to show this stamp? No, because there's no entrance fee. I just walk right back in. Anyway, so this is dark magic. Yeah, this is dark magic. Whether intended or not, I don't know if it's intended, but this is dark magic. He is manifesting. He is manifesting dark magic. The Magi is a manifester. Snake creating problems underneath. The snake lies in the grass. And when you walk past the snake, the snake strikes. There are problems being created and laying in the grass. And broken chalice, so many spades and negative cards. It adds to five spades, roadblock. So Fox, Fox is the female Magi. Okay, can depending on the reading, and this is the kind of reading that we're doing, you have both magic cards, magi and fox. Okay, executioner and devil are also good magic cards. Snake is a good magic card for dark magic. But mo both magic cards are showing, and this is a mirror. Okay, using the situation, the fox using the situation is manifesting dark magic very directly. The magi is more direct. He acts more upon the situation. The female fox moves the pieces around, puts blood on his books, Afghan blood on his books. And yes, two magic cards creating a problem for Harry. Uh, this problem will strike when it's ready. Uh, in the situation, Mother Earth, their witchcraft, common witchcraft, uh, the, what are they called? The Wiccans. The Wiccans are very much into the Earth and the Earth Mother. The Bible talks about this. Don't worship the Earth. Don't worship the created things. Uh, you are not, in case, I don't know if this is going to come as a shock to you. You're not God. You are not God. Okay, and that guy, Satan, who fell from heaven, he declared himself to be equal to God. That is, I think, the greatest sin. So you're not God, and the creation is not God. Just want to say, just want to throw that out there for you. Uh, butterfly, transformation, and new life. So this is witchcraft. That man is performing witchcraft. Is he a witch? I don't know. He is performing witchcraft and this uh, is, is very bad for Harry. So he is performing witchcraft. Is this guy a witch? Okay, because I believe that Lady Marima, Marina Abramovic is a satanic witch. I mean, if it, if it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, if it flaps its wings like a duck, it's probably a satanic witch, okay? So, this guy, he looks and acts and behaves and is doing things. He has other blood artwork. And the Bible talks a lot about blood. Do not eat the blood for the life of the animal is in the blood. Uh, you know, there's spiritual life. We have a soul, but there's also the physical life. And the physical life of the, the human and the animal is in the blood. It's in the blood. That's what the Bible talks about. So the blood is kind of, is sacred. And, you know, the Israelites, they were supposed to drain the blood before roasting uh, the meat. Uh, of course, you're not allowed to eat the blood. Do not eat the blood. There were specific prohibitions about that. So is this artist a practicing, so he's violating all that stuff. Okay, playing all this stuff with the blood is violating all that, those prohibitions. Is this artist a you know, intentional practicing witch. I mean, is he a witch? Or is this just like, you know, oh, I tripped and I fell into witchcraft. You know, I thought it was art. Is this guy a an actual witch practicing devil? 
oh my god, how can this be more dark? You got three spades, you got the devil, you got the snake. Here's the magi. Oh, and we've got a yes, baby. Oh, is this guy a practicing witch? Yes. Magic over the long term. Affecting the long term over the long term. 22, 32, eight spades. Yeah, the cast out card. Yes, his path, his long term path is magic. He's, he's a witch pretending to be an artist. Just like Marino Abramovic. Okay, and art, art draws new, unique. You want to have a unique signature. You want to be different than other people. Well, I mean, the, the market at this point is not flooded with satanic witches. So he's, uh, he's not, there's not so many competing against him. Uh, and he's able to make a name for himself. So that's why people are so stupidly misunderstanding this as art. But, you know, in a more Christian society, in a more religious society... Uh, you know, this is, this is a side effect that people are believing less in God, going to church less. And I, I go to all, I've been to like 10 churches in my area and I'm so dissatisfied with how ungodly people are in the churches. I feel like the moment they set foot outside the church, they're like, they turn off the Christianity. They're so nice in the church. And then they set foot outside, they walk outside and they're Oh my God, they're just as bad as the people of the world. I'm like, is this a real church? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, but I did go to church on Easter. Uh, so, because I, I really wanted to. And I wanted to go to Good Friday, but those crazy Catholics hold it at 3 o'clock on Friday. And the crazy non-denominationalists, they hold it on Thursday at 6 p.m. Jesus was put on the cross at 3 p.m. on Friday. That's why the Catholics, correctly so, are putting doing the service at 3 p.m. on Friday. Anyway, I digress. Is this guy a witch? Snake, devil, coffin. Okay, we had this right in the center. We had coffin, we had snake. Now we just got straight up devil, bro. Okay, this is not a reading on Meghan Markle. This is a reading on this guy, Andre Malud. Mulad, Mulad, whatever, the Russian guy. Uh, so devil, snake. So uh, the devil is, in this case, devil worshiper. Snake is again, devil and coffin, dead spirits. Uh, so definitely 23, 27 cross. Yeah, spiritual. The most spiritual card is the cross, seven, uh, Seven clubs, that is the most spiritual card. Uh, so this man's path is, and all the sevens are spiritual cards. All the sixes are relationship cards. The devil is 666. God and Jesus is 777. Sevens is the very spiritual card. Now, if you get into darker, uh, and, and that's how it's written in the book, in the book that I wrote, because that's, that's correct. But if you get into like uh, darker kind of cartomancy systems, they don't like the sevens because that's the number of God. Uh, and they'll say bad things like seven clubs, is, it's burdens and it's so heavy and it's always bad. No, you're just dark. Uh, it is burdens. We do carry burdens and life is hard. Uh, so is this guy... Is this guy a practicing witch? Absolutely, this is his path. This is his permanent path. And specifically, he's a satanic witch. The devil's right in the middle. And the snake is right here on his right hand. And death is flanking him. Death and the devil. The devil's right in the middle. And the, the other form of the devil on the earth, which is the snake, everything is devil, 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 and death. Okay, so the dark path always leads to death. It always leads to death in every possible way. And there are many ways to lead to death, including ultimately physical death and hell, which is called the second death. So, yes, this man is a satanic practicing witch. Absolutely. Will these bloody copies of Harry's book and the artist, the artist, I loosely term him an artist because he's really just a witch, a satanic witch. Will these bloody copies 
called Bloody Mary, will they sell out? They should be called Bloody Harry, not Bloody Mary. He should call them Bloody Harry. Isn't that better? Yeah, so he's a witch, not a creative genius, apparently. Will these copies sell out? How will they sell? Okay, because my dude wants to make money, and the worker is worth his wages and don't muzzle the ox while he treads out the grain. So, will he sell out? Roses, well-received. Oh, people are going to love it. Ooh, Executioner. What is that? Mm. Mm. I, don't, I don't know what I'm reading here yet. All right, are they going to sell it? Well, Executioner, this is police, court, judges. Harry may uh, put an injunction. Okay, a court may act and say, no, you can't sell this because it's endangering the royal family. People are going to love it. They, they love it. They love it. They love it. Uh, why? Because maybe people are idiots. I mean, I don't think being mean-spirited and nasty and putting evil spells on people is a good thing uh, under the majority of circumstances, and I don't think this is a good thing. 13 and 4, 17, 5 hearts. The reaction, I think an injunction will be put on this, but people really want to buy it. So he's planning to go to sale four days before the coronation. Okay, to, to get, he's pulling a Meghan Markle. Okay, always hijack the big news event. The big news event is the coronation. Four days before the coronation, that's all anybody's going to be talking about. So he's going to start selling his copies four days before the coronation. Get yourself a little piece of Satan. You know, buy, buy a bloody copy of Spare. Three spades, six spades. Again, a demonic card two hearts and this is look at this look at this bottom the two hearts is love a close loving relationship right next to it we have two spades we have the no card we have six spades we have three spades it's like it's like getting in there really close this is this is like an image this bottom part is like this uh the shadow portion of this reading of these cards is like that's like an image of of uh, low magic. You get in real close. You use blood. Hearts are a blood card. Use blood to do bindings that are harmful. That's what this is saying. It's a very harmful, evil binding. He is cursing Harry. He's cursing Harry. Look at how crazy this guy is. That's crazy. That's crazy. Terrible. Uh, are there Taliban sympathizers who are planning to try to attack Harry at the coronation? That's a very hard target. The people at the coronation are going to be some of the best protected in the world at that, at that time in that place. That's called a hard target. You've got uh, so many different police forces and security agencies watching, with heavily armed, you know, anticipating threats, watching people, you know, on their little ear microphones, talking to each other, wearing their silly, silly uh, blazer jackets with not matching pants and in their running shoes like that. That's what that's going to look like. So are there any ta Taliban sympathizers who maybe don't have a brain? Uh, because they're trying to hit him at such a hard target place, are they actually trying to attack Harry at the coronation? Because that's like the worst place. Many permanently working together. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, it's not looking good for Harry. So there's many people... Uh, and this is like a permanent fatwa. Cross is forever, baby. The sevens are forever. The sevens are the forever cards. Okay, they never exhaust. They constantly renew. Your strength will be renewed like the eagle, like the sea eagle, the seagull. No, the real eagle. Uh, and it and they're working everything together. They're they're looking at everything. There's a whole bunch of people that want to hurt Harry. Nine and seven, sixteen, four spades and and do to him what they did to Salman Rushdie. 
So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of people that want to hurt Harry because he offended them. The message is out, and a fatwa has been issued by an authority. Ruler has issued the fatwa, and the conflict is engaged. 13, 14, 17, five hearts, and, and the, the faithful who look forward to 72 virgins are, they're going to react to it. So, he's in danger for the rest of his life. Which is unbelievably stupid, Harry. All You didn't have to say any of those things. Unbelievably stupid. And again, where was Megan? That makes me think, Megan is not stupid. Okay, and Harry is, I don't know, easily manipulated. I don't believe in stupid. I believe that Harry is easily manipulated. But all the drug admissions and uh, doing saying this. And where was his editor? Where were the editors? Other people read this book and said, okay, we'll put it in. Come on, man. Come on. So I don't believe Megan is stupid. I believe she is intentionally destroying Harry. And that is evil. That is even more evil than this satanic witch casting a spell. So what do we have? Is this a spell? You bet it's a spell. Absolutely it's a spell. Is this guy a, a practicing satanic witch? Absolutely. This guy is hardcore satanic witch. That's his life. And he belongs to the devil. Absolutely. Okay. Will Bloody Mary sell out? I think that they're, that uh, the royal family or Harry is going to put a, a stop order. Stop doing this. I think they're going to get a court to issue a stop order on selling this book. And I think they should. This is the one time I will agree with Harry to, that he should sue them. Are there Taliban sympathizers planning to hurt? Yes, absolutely. You bet. And it's forever. It's forever, baby. Okay, Taliban is forever. Love is forever. Uh, uh, death and taxes are forever. So don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, if you will. Smash that like button. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling the Magi Method. And I'll see you the next time.